And right now, a record number of stranded motorists calling in for help. AAA of Ohio says that they are overloaded in this extreme cold, causing many cars simply to not work. 10 TV's Laura Borchers continues our team coverage right now on the road with one of those AAA maintenance trucks and Laura keeping busy. Yeah, they're keeping very busy. Now, early this morning, someone here in the campus area woke up to, unfortunately, a flat tire. So AAA is on the scene out here trying to help out. One of the first things that needed to be done is this tire down here was checked and its tire pressure was low. More of that on other tires. And it's a reminder to everyone out there. It's one of the big things you can do is check yours, pull into a gas station and maybe give yourself a little more air if you need it, because that's one of the many calls that AAA has been taking a look at. Now, as you can see, he's working on the tire as we speak. Uh, trying to get this one up and running again. The biggest car problem over the last few days has by far been batteries. Randy Knapp, out, uh, Kelsey Knapp out here tells us on average batteries last about three to five years. But keep in mind, this cold weather will drain your battery especially quickly. Now take a look at some of the prevention and maintenance that you can do right now. Batteries, we're told, Test it twice a year and replace every three to five years. Tires, check your tire pressure, tread as well as your pressure itself and lockouts. That's another one that they're hearing a lot of calls on. If you warm up your vehicle in the morning, you should make sure that you have a spare set of keys and an easily accessible location that, of course, is outside of the vehicle. Now, one last thing, maintenance. It's huge. Randy keeps saying that you need to make sure you keep up with your regular maintenance so you don't find yourself in a lurch in the morning as you're waking up and trying to get to work. Again, the calls have been huge. AAA tells us they've seen the most calls they've seen in 20 years, and right now it's about triple what it would normally be on this day, this time of the year. Reporting live on campus, I'm Laura Borchers, 10TV News.